What's up guys, I'm Nico of Camp Crunch and in today's video I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I've decided to start shooting film. Um, and there are a bunch of reasons why I decided to, you know, take the plunge, buy a film camera and really invest uh, money and time to shoot, to learn how to shoot film, to get better with shooting film. Um, so this might be an extra long video, but I hope you guys can, you know, stick around, watch the whole video and just see what I have to say. So the first reason why I decided to shoot film again is basically curiosity. Growing up, I didn't have the chance to shoot uh, with film. I learned photography all on a DSLR. So, you know, I'm really grateful for that because it was cheap because I didn't have to buy film and, you know, uh, it was much more forgiving. So when I made mistakes, it didn't cost me anything. I could just delete a shot and learn again. So, you know, that I, I'm really thankful for that. But I did miss the whole analog photography, film photography experience. Because when I was growing up, um, I wasn't really allowed to use, like, the family's film camera or any of that sort of stuff. My older siblings were, but I, wa I, I wasn't. You know, they actually had their own little point-and-shoots eventually. Uh, but, you know, I, I never really got to use any of those cameras and any real gadgets in ge general. You know, I didn't have like a CD player, a Walkman, um, any any of that sort of stuff. And maybe it's because my you know my parents were really scared that I would break them. But, you know, I, I don't know. But the point is that I, I didn't get the chance to play with that sort of stuff. So while, you know, I did enjoy learning through digital, there was always that aspect of photography that was missing. Um, and that sort of, you know, leads into my second point, and that is that film photography is a more tangible medium, meaning that, like, the pro the whole process of taking the photo all the way to developing the photo to printing it is much more, is a much more physical process, and you can really see the steps sort of unfolding in front of you as they happen, which you don't really get that much with digital photography nowadays, because well, you take a shot with your camera, it ends up as um, ones and zeros in your memory card. You put that into your computer, which again are ones and zeros in your computer, and you edit that. And maybe you'll print it at the end to get that physical copy. Uh, but most of the time, at least, it ends up in Flickr, Facebook, um, you know, all those social networking sites. and never really gets, becomes like something that you can hold and touch and, and, and feel and all that sort of stuff. So... Uh, in the end, film photography is a much more tangible process, and I really want to experience that. Um, to add to that, f shooting in film has that aspect of delayed gratification. So when you take a picture, you don't see what you're going to get right away. And, you know, that's something you don't normally get in the digital world anymore. Everything comes to you like that, like really quickly, uh, instantly. And that's very good, you know, because... That's why technology is progressing, so that we can be more efficient, so that things can happen quicker, uh, so that we can do more things, uh, so that we can, you know, take what we do now even further than we could have in the past. But there are times when really sitting on your computer screen uh, gets really stressful. Not really stressful, but tiring. And, you know, seeing your pictures right away in your LCD screen, it can get tiring because, um, I, like... Not just hiring, but it can also be uninspiring just to see like your images right away. And um, although I really like digital, you know, photography, digital technology, I kind of sometimes want to break from that. I kind of just want to slow down and not really have to worry about the image itself right away. I can just, you know, focus on the process of taking the image and then worry about the final result later. Of course, you know, the result is important, but, you know, I think part of learning photography is about uh, enjoying and learning the actual process of taking the photo and not just about the final image itself. And that's really something that's missing from uh, digital photography. Um, what else do I have to say? There is also that, you know, aspect of learning. Now, when you learn with digital, you learn with, you know, so much convenience uh, in your hands. Uh, it's okay to make mistakes. It, it doesn't cost you anything. And although people can su successfully learn that way, and I, you know, I think I've done a pretty good job learning uh, on digital, I think that there's always something to be learned through having uh, the potential to really make mistakes uh, if you don't think about your shots too well, if you don't think of all that stuff. And 
while you can force yourself to do that with digital, like I did in the past, there's always that, you know, aspect of knowing that you can make the mistake and it will still be okay. Versus with photography where you only, with film photography, where you only have 36 shots to get that, you know, one good shot rather than having as much space as your memory card has to get, you know, that one shot that you want. There's, you know, there's that aspect of, um, I wouldn't say consequence, but, you know, having only 36 shots, um, that, that can really push you to take your understanding of exposure, taking your time in making a proper exposure, composition, and all that stuff. So I think that will really help me in the long run. Now, I might be forgetting something, but there's actually one more thing uh, in terms of learning, and that's, um, you know, through learning analog photography, maybe I'll learn something about digital photography. Maybe it might make me appreciate certain aspects of digital photography that I didn't see before. Uh, maybe it might push me to take uh, the, my digital photography even further than what I used to in the past. So while I will definitely be learning about photography in general through the use of a film camera, maybe it might not just make me learn about that, um, you know, make me learn about um, photography, but it might motivate me, push me to take the new technology even further than I have in the past. And that's something that, you know, I'm really hoping that it does that because one of the reasons why I got this camera is just to really be inspired again, uh, to really, you know, want to take pictures again because, you know, again, uh, using a digital camera, after a while it can be, you know, quite tiring, quite uninspiring. And I just want to, I just want to be pushed again. Um, so not, not only do I take good pictures with my film camera, but also with my digital camera in the, in the future. Uh, so those are the reasons why I decided to, uh, start shooting film again. I hope I said everything that I needed to. I probably forgot something, but that's all I can think of for now. And I hope you guys enjoyed me rambling and talking for a long time. And yeah, if you guys like the video, if you guys like these kinds of video, then let me know in the comment box down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.